One of the strangest things I've ever seen is the ocean sunfish, also known as Mola Mola. The ocean sunfish won't be taking home any beauty pageant prizes because it is flat, lumpy, wrinkled, and just plain unattractive. The ocean sunfish can grow to be enormous sizes, but it still only appears to be half a fish. They may appear wired, but they actually have some fascinating qualities and interesting characteristics you may not have seen. These amazing fish travel through the 1,000-meter deep canal between Candidasa and Nusa Penida from June to November. What makes these fish so amazing then? The following Mola Mola facts can pique your interest in diving with them even more. Before we proceed, kindly return the favor and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and activate the bell notification feature to stay up to speed with new video publications. First off, why the odd name? The marine sunfish is actually known by its scientific name, Mola Mola. Due to its resemblance to millstones used to process grain, the name mola comes from the Latin word for mill. Sea sunfish is its English name. In order to avoid any confusion, the term mola mola might be used more frequently than ocean sunfish. The ocean sunfish is a huge saltwater fish, while the sunfish is a little freshwater fish. This makes mola mola less ambiguous. It is referred to as pez luna in Spanish and poisson loon in French, respectively. This is based on a myth that claims that when these fish were seen swimming near the water's surface at night, fishermen would mistake them for the moon's reflection. They are the heaviest bunny fish in the world. The back fin that the mola mola is born with never grows, making it the heaviest bunny fish in the world and giving it a truncated bullet-like shape. Instead, as the giant monster grows, it folds within itself to form a rounded rudder known as a clavis. Oceans around the world, both temperate and tropical, are home to mola. They are regularly spotted basking in the sunlight close to the surface, and when their enormous dorsal fins pop out of the water, they are frequently mistaken for sharks. They are unable to completely close their comparatively small jaws because their teeth are fused together, forming a beak-like shape. The Molida family includes mola molas. The pufferfish, triggerfish, and boxfish are their closest relatives. Because of their differences in size and shape, it could be difficult to discern from a distance, but if you glance inside their mouths, you'll see that they are comparable. Each has a small mouth with a beak resembling a bird and three teeth, two in the mouth and one in the throat. They have surprisingly powerful jaws, yet strangely, they don't chew their food. Most of the time, mola molas eat jellyfish. Incredible, isn't it? Although they don't make up a sizable portion of their food, sea sponges, small fish, squid, crabs, and brittle sea stars can also be consumed by ocean sunfish. The ocean sunfish may have so many parasites because jellyfish make great hosts for them. The ocean sunfish has a wonderful mucus covering all over it as well. They may be able to digest the jellies without being stung since the mola mola's mucus layer also lines their digestive processes. Sunfish from the water don't chew their meal. They suck jellyfish in and out of their tiny jaws until it is small enough to be swallowed before eating it. Although it may seem like a really odd method to eat, it is effective for them. Due to the bonding of its teeth, the mola mola never closes its mouth. This enhances the absurdly naive appearance that these weird fish have. The fact that a female mola mola can produce over 300 million eggs at once is one of the species' most amazing features. This is due to the fact that they are solitary fish and may have a hard time finding a mate. They are less likely to ever meet a mate, therefore when they do, they maximize their mating by laying more eggs than any other vertebrate in the world. In contrast to what you would have expected, marine sunfish babies are tiny. Sunfish larvae that have just hatched are only 2.5 millimeters long and weigh less than a gram. They have the capacity to expand more than 60 million times from their original size, to achieve their peak size, they can actually grow slightly under a kilogram every day. Young fish, including ocean sunfish, are referred to as fries. Ha! What an unfortunate name, people don't need any more reasons to fry fish. This name encourages us. Ever ponder the origin of the name sunfish? They enjoy floating on the water's surface to get some rays, which explains why. There are several hypotheses as to why they act in this way. They may need to control their body temperature in between deep dives, which could explain why. 
Fish need to warm up and maintain their body temperature because they spend their entire lives in water depths between 200 and 600 meters. Another hypothesis holds that they must let seabirds clean their body in order to rid them of parasites. In general, cleaner fish carry up to 40 different parasites at once, so they occasionally need a little more assistance. When the mola is resting on the surface of the water, some of these are skin parasites that can be removed by intrepid seabirds. A mola mola may leap up to 10 feet or 3 meters in the air and then splash down forcefully to try to shake off the parasites in addition to having seagulls and tiny pick off parasites. Mola mola are coated in a thick, elastic skin rather than having tails or scales. This skin, which can be more than 7.5 centimeters thick, is shielded by a gelatinous mucosa. In place of a tail, they have a fan-shaped structure called a clavis, which is a type of pseudotail. They use their long dorsal and ventral fins for locomotion as they lack a tail. Despite what you might imagine, they are able to move incredibly swiftly and can jump up to 3 meters out of the water because to this adaptability. They lack a lot of spine as well. They don't actually lack a spine, rather they simply have the fewest number of vertebrae, only 16 of any fish and less than half that of a person. The majority of their bones is cartilage, making it far simpler than others. It has absolutely no ribs at all. Sunfish are not the smartest fish either. The brain of an ocean sunfish is quite small. A brain that weighs less than 5 grams can be found in even the largest people who weigh 200 kilograms. Even its kidneys, which are found just behind the brain, are smaller than its brain. Other than people, the mola mola is preyed upon by sharks, killer whales, and sea lions. The presence of abandoned plastic bags in the water is a serious hazard to mola molas. A floating plastic bag resembles a jellyfish exactly. It might be swallowed by an ocean sunfish, who would then choke. Or it can jam the fish's digestive system, slowly starving it. By not littering in our oceans or anywhere else, and making sure that our bags are securely stowed in the recycling bin, we can all do our small thing to help the environment. All marine species, including whales, sea turtles, and of course molas, are at risk due to the use of plastic bags. Is mola mola edible? You might be asking yourself right now. The majority of individuals claim that it tastes abhorrent and is extremely unhealthy because it is parasite-filled. Other sources claim that it is a common dish in Asia and that it has medicinal uses. Now, how are they going to survive? Most bunny fish are buoyant thanks to their swim bladders. Mola mola, on the other hand, lack this organ. How do they float then? They float naturally because of the layer of subcutaneous fluid and lighter cartilage. They also frequently move their fins side to side when hovering, somewhat akin to a marine hummingbird. If you weren't eager to swim with mola mola before, you ought to be right now. Being in the water with these fish is a truly incredible experience because they are so fascinating and astoundingly large. And now, let us hear from you in the comment section below. Keep in mind that more videos will be up soon, so be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell in order to stay up to date with new video alerts. Also, sharing indicates you want to see our content reach a wider audience. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.